Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Questive Guide video. So today we're covering Lapras. Now Lapras is probably my favourite Gigantamax Pokemon. Um, I really love it. I think it's probably got the best Gigantamax move as well. And yeah, I've got two generic sets, one Dynamax set and one Gigantamax set that we're going to go through today. The first set being a Choice Spec set. Now that increases your special attack from... Um, Sorry, it increases your special attack by 1.5 times, so it allows for you to have basically very close to 450 special attack, which is quite high, especially considering Lapras' attack is a little bit lower than we would want. Move, oh sorry, ability-wise we've got Water Absorb, allowing for you to have water immunity and heal your quarter of your health every time you're hit by a water-type attack, which is just very, very nice. It allows for you um, to have that extra immunity, especially if you have something like Colossal, um, it can be beneficial there. Now move wise we've got Dragon Pulse which is a powerful dragon type attack. It's a variety of different Pokemon for neutral damage. We've got Freeze Dry which is super effective against water types. Um, just really beneficial there as well. Um, Hydro Pump which is a powerful water type move boosted by Stab. Um, so is the Freeze Dry as well I should say that. And then Thunderbolt is just a variety move as well and that will hit typically almost anything um, for neutral damage. and yeah, EVs gone for max HP and max special attack with a modest nature, so more special attack and less attack, and four EVs in special defense. So, yeah, max HP because your defenses are okay, but your HP stat is really high, which allows for that extra support there. Um, yeah, you could go some investment in speed, but honestly, I don't think it's worth it um, because base 60 speed is quite typical. So, if you want to go like um, four in speed, four in your speed, it would allow you to outspeed a lot of just base um, 60 speed Pokemon, which there are a lot of them, but going max speed probably isn't worth it because you won't be outspeeding uh, that many Pokemon. The second set we have on here is a Dragon Dance set. Now, Lapras having access to Dragon Dance is really, really cool. Uh, I mean, it can take advantage of that attack stat, which is base 85, and it actually makes the speed stat more viable. So if you can get a Dragon Dance, maybe two up, you are going to have 440 speed or 438 speed, which is quite high, it's relatively good. And then you're gonna have a base, uh, almost 600 attack as well. So yeah, if you can get two set up, you're going to be able to do a lot of damage to different Pokemon. Now, move wise on here, I went for Heal Bell, which can cure the user of status conditions. This isn't the only option you have. Um, I just thought I'd show off Heal Bell on here, but you have access to things like Drill Run, you have access to, um, Aquatail, Body Press, Body Slam, even Facade, just in case you get burnt. Um, Waterfall, Zen Headbutt, so loads of different options that you can actually have on here, um, along with the Mega Horn and Liquidation that I've gone for. EV-wise, gone for Max Attack and Max Speed, with an Adamant Nature, some more attack, less special attack. Uh, if you wanted to, you could go for the Jolly Nature here. It would increase your speed up a little bit more. So that's definitely an option for you to run as well. Obviously, do look at your speed tiers and what you're doing um, because that will help you. Oh, I remember the reason I put Heal Bell on here. Sorry, <laughs> she just jumped into my head. Um, obviously, if you get burnt with this, you're going to be struggling quite a bit because you're relying on your attack power. So that's why I put Heal Bell on here to allow you to get rid of that status condition whilst also maintaining your Dragon Dance setups. The third set we have is the Dynamax set. So on here, I've put the Mago Berry. You could put Choice Band. You could put Life Orb. You could put Citrus Berry. Uh, even leftovers, lots of different options that you can put, even weakness policy might work. So yeah, lots and lots and lots of different things that you can have on here. Uh, but I've put the Mago Berry, uh, meaning that you'll get 33% back of your health when you are 25% of your health. Put Hydration as the ability, just because you're going to be able to set up the rain in this situation, and just in case you get toxic, for example, um, your stasis condition is uh, cured at the end of the turn, so you're not going to have to worry about um, the half of your attack for the burn or getting toxics you're in the on the field for a limited amount of time that's something you're not going to have to worry about. Move wise the moves that I'd recommend using are body press which is powerful fighting type attack and it will turn to max knuckle allowing you to raise up your attack stat. You've also got waterfall which will set up the rain allowing for that hydration to happen um, also giving support for yourself and I think you actually uh, actually, no, that was that's a special move. But if you had doubles and you had like a Jolteon or something, for example, that could then use Thunder. 
So there's options there as well. I've put Meg Mega Horn on here again, but again, you could go for Drill Run, you could go for Body Slam, lots of different things you could go for. In fact, Drill Run would probably be good because it will raise up, raise up your special defense. And yeah, you've even got Avalanche. Uh, <laughs> just looking through the different things you have. Unfortunately, you don't have any access to any physical steel type moves, uh, which would have been the nice triage of having the um, the weather set up, the max knuckle, the max steel spike, and the max quake, because they all go and synergize together quite well. Eevee-wise on here, I went for max HP and max attack, with a Adam and Nature's more attack, less special attack, and four EVs in special defense. So you want to raise up your stats as much as possible. You could put leftovers on here, as I said, it's depending on what you want to go for. Now we have Gigantamax Lapras, and Gigantamax Lapras is a bit more of a supportive Pokemon in a way, um, just because it can set up the Aurora Veil um, using its G-Max move, which I can't recall off the top of my head, G-Max Resonance, which is an Ice type move, so if it uses um, its Ice Beam here, uh, or Avalanche for example, if he was going for the physical set, then you set up G-Max Resonance, which will set up and Aurora Veil, that's why I put the light play here, so it goes from 5 turns to 8 turns. Now, I just think that's a really, really cool uh, thing to have, and it allows you to continue setting up. So even if you want to just do uh, G-Max Resonance and then have Dragon Dance, for example, on here, um, whilst having like the Avalanche, I think that would work out quite cool. Uh, you've got Hydro Pump on here, powerful water-type attack, hits a variety of Pokemon, and it's Stab. You've got Heal Bells, get rid of any status conditions, and then you've got Toxic as well, which actually I think might be illegal. I don't think that is possible now that I think about it. So you could go for uh, things like Dragon Pulse. You could go Freeze Dry on here. Uh, I'd recommend replacing that with Ice Beam if you used to go for that. You could go for Psychic. Um, you've, got, you've even got Sparkling Aria if you want. So lots of different options that you have here. Uh, with GMAX Resonance. So, or not GMAX Resonance, GMAX Lapras. I think GMAX Resonance is probably the best GMAX move in my opinion. Um, just because I love Aurora Veil, setting up both screens is really nice. Um, and you don't even need to have the hail in this case. It just automatically sets it up. That is all for Lapras. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here. It's a good one, and I will see you soon.